YouTube, welcome back to Low Guido's Chop Chop, the second best gel blaster channel on the tubes. And if you watched my video a little while back on the um, Wii high capper, the 6 inch, big black 6 inch high capper from Tactic Hack Edge Hobby. <laughs> Sorry, I still, can't, I still can't get over it. From Tactical Edge Hobbies, um, you would have seen me put the... Uh, the RMR plate on it because I was a little bit hyped to um, get an RMR onto the back of it. However, um, that led me to some interesting issues which I'll address in this video. But before I get into that even, I want to talk about Tactical Edge Hobbies because I've been pleading... Pleading? Is that the word? Maybe bothering. I've been annoying them for a long time trying to get a 10% discount code for you guys so that you guys can get 10% off when you buy from Tactical Edge Hobbies. And I've been trying, I've been just pretty much just bothering them for over a year now, I'd say at least. And I finally got a 10% discount code. So if you put the code Low Guido in with your next um, Tactic Hack Edge Hobbies order, you will get 10% off everything in the store, I think. They, they, I'm going to put a link down and the code in the description so you don't have to remember it. But uh, finally, got that discount code for you guys, so <laughs> make make good use of it. Anyway, I'm going to show you what i got to do with this blaster. So this is the RMR. It's a little... Uh, little Trigicon unit, um, same sort of one, it's, it's pretty common, it's probably one of the best looking RMRs available, so that's the one that of course I would choose and what most people would choose. Uh, however, the plate that, uh, oh yeah, I'll put a link in the description where you can get one of these as well, might as, might as well, why not? The plate, um, did not fit this RMR. It had, um, if you look here, you can see I've already made modifications to it. So it had four pins, a pin on each corner, and two inboard holes here. Now, the, um, the little RMR that I have got here, the offset of the holes was wrong and the four pins were also wrong. This particular RMR, it's got little spots for two pins up front, but no pins in the back. And um, they were the wrong offset anyway. So what I've done here is I've just basically ground down the four pins and um, the two holes that were originally in this plate, um, they were the right thread size, but they were just in the wrong position. Um, so they needed to be out uh, probably, a, a outset maybe another two, two and a half millimeters or so from where they were. Um, so I found that I, I if I, yeah, I, w I couldn't drill right next to where the original holes were, not without filling these original holes somehow. So um, I found that I could actually set these holes uh, forward a bit. I think this, this is actually the front of the plate here. So I set them forward uh, without too much drama. Like where I've put, where I've put the holes, I, I will get like a millimeter of overhang uh, on the back. The front is almost flush, just you know a little bit of an overhang, so it doesn't sit quite squarely um, where it should on the plate. It should fit like perfectly square there. But it just it, it just sits like a millimeter further forward, as it was where the um, original 
holes where it would have been sitting way back anyway so where these holes are is actually a better fit so yeah pretty simple modification um, just grinding these posts down uh, drilling the two new holes to mount it and tapping them out to a uh, M3.5 thread which is what this uses um, I, I already did it off camera so um, obviously I am not going to do it in this video now for you but um, what I am going to do is just clean it clean it up a bit because um, these silver, silver shiny bits once they're once it's on there you don't see them but um, I'm gonna I'm just gonna give them a bit of an airbrush Alright, so I'm just going to get my airbrush, I'm just going to give these Give these a little bit of a touch up get the sides as well because when this is mounted on um, you do see a little bit of that silver poking out on top of the slide And that ought to do it. Alright, now the plate screws on the top here with the two Phillips head screws. Very straightforward. You can see just on the side of the slide there where the drill holes come through where the silver would have poked through if I didn't have them blacked out. Then of course we can fit our RMR from here. fixing screws on. Now, I mean it should stand to reason that this is a gel blaster. This is not this is not a real steel device so like um, you wouldn't do this type of thing with, with real steel because um, because it would probably get blown off you know what I mean like like it, you need a, a, a precision uh, plate with with the with the doweling and the and, and everything to to cater for it if you just sort of started making your own thing it probably wouldn't last too long but um, this being that this is just for a gel blaster it is it is more than sufficient it's not going to come off it's uh, it's going to look and perform perfectly for what we need. Anyway, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, you can use that code, Low Guido, down in the description. Get yourself 10% off. Thanks for watching. Um, also, if you like what I'm doing, you can buy me a coffee in the link down below. Shout outs to those who have bought me coffee. Adam Hoy. Steve Hyde, Ray Brabens, Humorous Hubris, uh, Graham Legreen. Thanks for buying me coffee, you guys, legends. 
Also, if you're interested in copying one of these patches, hit me up on the face page. Thanks for watching. Peace out.